Hello everyone, welcome to the Courageous Frights, a channel where we talk about movies and games, especially those dealing with the sci-fi, action, and horror genres. If that's something that might interest you, consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. When we think of giant monster movies, I'm willing to bet the first country that comes to mind is Japan. We connect the genre with Japanese cinema so much that in recent years, the word kaiju has become a common knowledge standard term to describe these movies. However, Japan wasn't always the only country making monster movies. As many people probably know, the entire genre began in the U.S. with King Kong and dozens more hit drive-ins across America throughout the 1950s. One in particular, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, heavily influenced the original Godzilla movie, which debuted the following year. With the release of Gojira in 1954, the genre exploded to even greater prominence not only in Japan and America, but across the world, and throughout the remainder of the 1950s and 60s, a plethora of monster movies began being produced in many different countries including the UK, Denmark, and Korea. Earlier this week, I made a video covering some recent Gamera and Godzilla news, so I decided to do a second video covering the potential return of a few non-Japanese kaiju from a surprising source. Titanic Creations, a toy manufacturer out of the U.S. state of Colorado, of all places, recently secured the rights to perhaps the most famous of these, Gorgo. For casual fans or those that just never heard of this kaiju, Gorgo debuted in the 1961 British film of the same name which featured a monster called Gorgo that appeared off the coast of Ireland and was later captured and brought to London as a carnival attraction in a plot similar to King Kong. However, the twist comes in when it's discovered that the giant beast is only a baby and his mother, the significantly more massive Ogre, isn't very happy about the situation. Apparently it seems that Titanic Creations have secured the rights to Britain's most famous kaiju and is planning to make a figure depicting both the mother Ogre and the juvenile Gorgo, which will be up for pre-order in early 2023. However, the news doesn't end there, as the same company is planning to publish a new graphic novel chronicling their own revised storyline which will pit them against other original Titanic Creations IPs, with even greater ambitions in the future, with an animated film and potential development. To sign up for the updates, follow the link in the description box below. While the movie that started it all is already relatively obscure to most of today's audiences, what might be even more surprising is that Gorgo later spawned a comic book series which ran for 23 episodes from 1961 to 1965. Recently, the series has been re-released in bound graphic novel format by PS Art Books, where you can get the first five issues in either a hardback slipcase or standard bookshop edition. As with the Titanic Creations info, you can find out more about this in the description box below. If the return of Gorgo in 2022 wasn't shocking enough, Titanic Creations teased other possible acquisitions as well when they tweeted the following. So first up in this image is La Carcagne, better known as the titular beast in the American 1957 movie The Giant Claw, which thanks to James Rolfe, aka the angry video game nerd, has become renowned across the internet for being... A bird as big as a battleship. As big as a battleship. Flying battleship. Your flying battleship? Next up is actually a Danish kaiju, 1965's Reptilicus, which along with Gorgo was a personal favorite of mine as a kid. While the notion of a Nordic kaiju might sound strange to some, Scandinavia has recently once again joined the genre of Netflix's Troll, which I reviewed earlier this week. Reptilicus is notable for having different abilities in the Danish and US versions of the film. The original cut features a flying sequence that was removed from the US version which instead replaced it with a scene showing off an acid spit attack. And lastly we have a Korean kaiju, 1967's Yongari. This monster would return in 1999 reimagining also called Yongari in Korea but titled Reptilian in the US. Interestingly, the original movie only exists today in its English dub form as the original Korean version has long since been lost apart from a 48 minute damaged print. This must have been a common problem with early Korean monster films as another film, Wong Magui, was also thought to have been lost entirely, until now. As previously reported in another of my Kaiju News Roundups, that film has not only been found, but will be coming shortly on Blu-ray by SRS Cinema, which is currently up for pre-order with a slated January release. Well, that's all the news right now for Kaiju films, both from Japan and abroad. 
So if you like this content, consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing for more like this in the future, and you too could feel the strength welling within. See ya.